What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about and doing a little review of the Exalted Truth 140 Void Hand Cannon that came out with Trials of Osiris. So it's earned from leveling up your ranks with Saint-14, as well as when it is the Flawless Reward, you can grab that Flawless or adept version of this weapon too not that it changes too much in the perks or how it works besides throwing on some adept mods now this 140 hand cannon in my opinion feels all right inside of the crucible i think it personally sits at around a 5 out of 10 compared to something like the palindrome which sits a little higher at like a 7 now we are gonna show you real quick here before we get into the roles that I think you should be looking for for this hand cannon while I kind of explain the differences, but we're gonna go over the palindrone shot pattern real quick, as well as this hand cannon, the Exalted Truth, as well as the Katata Arc hand cannon, which is also a Suros frame just like this one. In all seriousness, they do feel exactly the same, just the Exalted Truth is void. and the Katata is arc. So right here, going into a private match, you can see these differences. So first off, right here for the palindrome, we have our typical shot, 10 in the barrel. Feels very consistent in my opinion and has some nice actual recoil to it. Now when we move on here to the Exalted Truth, it feels very similar, like I said, to the Katata as you will see here, but it doesn't feel like it has that much recoil, almost like a 180 in my opinion. It does reload kind of nice compared to the Palindrone, I don't know why, it just feels a little bit nicer, but the overall stability, I think I would choose the Palindrone. Now when you move on to the Katata right here, again, side by side, you can tell that that these two are basically exactly the same sound shape everything like that except for one is void and one is arc now even me at this point with how the meta is having a sidearm in like the drang in this energy slot to back up my sniper feels a lot better and more consistent the way people are playing they're either sitting way far back with a pulse rifle so it's kind of hard to keep up with these hand cannons or when they're up close they're using smg or or sidearm so it's also hard to keep up with those with a hand cannon so you're kind of stuck in the middle right now with this meta but for me i think i would still choose the palindrome over this but that's just a personal feel so real quick going over the god roll for the pvp and then we'll also give you a pve that i've been using as well especially with that jive falcons hunter build so first off for the pvp god roll for this weapon i think personally this hammer forged rifling for that 10 range or small bore for stability and range is super nice because like i said this weapon just sometimes doesn't feel like it has that much kick or recoil to it so it's throwing me off especially with the recoil direction being exactly 100 i don't know it might be a personal preference but having that extra little stability and range definitely helps in my personal opinion next off we're going with accurized rounds just like always in this slot that extra 10 range really helps inside of the crucible especially with this meta everybody sitting back with those pulse rifles this helps keep up a little bit once you get into that medium range definitely nothing farther than that medium range will work moving on to our third column right here rangefinder definitely the god roll helps off with that effective range and zoom again just keeping that competitiveness at that medium range with those pulse rifles that are just running rampant inside of the crucible and you can get a beat out on those sidearms and submachine guns at that special range again it's a weird weird limbo right now where these hand cannons are in a weird niche almost medium range where anything too close you're going to get beat out by those sidearms and smgs and anything too far you're going to get beat out by those pulses so definitely having that extra little bit of range helps increase that zone in which we can kind of mess around with and win those fights last but not least in this third column you do have a couple different options kill clip for your sixes if you want feeding frenzy right here 
Now in our fourth column, last but not least, we do have a couple options, Eye of the Storm, Frenzy, and Kill Clip. Both of these, like it says, are good for the PvE realm, and then also for sixes, in my opinion, where Eye of the Storm is more a good overall PvP perk, where it works inside of threes, inside of trials, as well as sixes, just giving you that nice handling and little accuracy booth when your health gets low, especially if you're in there slapping out a bunch of people. You can dip in and out of cover with this, and it just absolutely mercs people with that aim assist it feels like very very sticky now moving on to the pve god roll that i love to be using with that void in the gyro falcons hunter build or just any void build really that has a bunch of debuffs going on so first off we're going to be using corkscrew rifling as the jack of all trades for stability handling and range just helps us inside of that pve realm switching on and off of our weapons Next off, we're going to be using Tactical Mag or Appended Mag. Definitely a personal preference. For me, I go with Tactical Mag. We do get one less bullet, but we do get that nice increase to reload and stability, where Appended Mag only gives us one more shot. So once again, totally a personal preference, but definitely would go with one of these two. Now in our third column, we go with Outlaw here. Definitely seems like the best perk. Get that nice reload speed on those precision hits. And we're going to be doing this for those ad clear rank and file enemies. And then in our fourth column, again, you could go with Kill Clip and Frenzy if you would like, depending on your play style. But me personally, I love Repulsor Brace as a nice void debuff. It grants us the overshield, so it pairs perfectly with our void subclasses and that synergy and when we get that volatile rounds with grenades or whatever it may be jar falcon's chest piece on our hunter we're able to get that void overshield very consistently since we always have a void debuff with volatile rounds on this weapon so definitely an interesting weapon for me like i said i personally think i like the palindrome better still just feels more consistent and like you're actually doing damage with your shots compared to the exalted truth it just feels very weird in its recoil pattern to me and even compared to the katata which is the same exact thing it just doesn't feel quite the same to me for some odd reason so me personally going with the palindrome but this is not a bad option maybe take a couple more games for me to get used to it and then it'll be absolutely slapping and i'll be able to be like i was wrong but hopefully y'all can get grind into some crucible and that trials on a freelance weekend if you're a solo player get your levels up and use those trial engrams to get some nice hand cannon rewards hopefully this helped you guys out find out your god rolls i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.